It's really cool though because you I'm get not one cent. I know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, you definitely it's you, know, you, you get five uh, five <laughs> opinions, you know, and and so it just kind of rounds out the whole. They the definitely song end up that. a lot more mature <laughs> as a song from when they're brought in because you get all five of us in there and stuff, and um, everybody's got a little idea, and we tweak it and tweak and tweak, and finally it's um, recorded, and it's like, wow, this is so much bigger and more mature than what it was when we first started, you know. It's a pretty organic process in that uh, we all have a lot of varying influences, but we all have a lot of influences in common. And so when we get in there and start hashing a song out, everybody in the band, we all we all dig each other's play and we all dig what each other do. So the ideas that we all bring to the table, it's always interesting to say, what's Marcus going to do with this? What's Dave going to come up with? You know, how's Clint going to approach this? It's just fun, man. And when you're playing in a band that you love playing in, you feel totally confident bringing whatever idea you have in there and just throwing it on the table because you know it's in good hands, you know. Then when I have an idea and bring it to the to the guys, they say you're just the bass player. Yeah, <laughs> we just tell him to back up and punt. <laughs> That's usually how it is with him all the time. But, <laughs> but no, from from beginning to end, uh, any song can morph and change. Like you know. Um, We've all bought ideas in where somebody's like, yeah, we can try it. And then you kind of look at each other and go like, uh, not working, man. Back to the drawing board kind of thing. <laughs> but nobody it, but gets it's all, offended by that. Yeah, it's, it's all group effort. And it's like, you know, um, and it all works out for the better, you know. It's good to have, uh, instead of one idea, five ideas flying around, you know. Sure, sure. So we're live at EFT. I've got Stone Senate here. Um, well, I want to touch on, you, you, you chose Kenny Olson to help you put this record together. Was there was there a particular reason for that? You know what? Um, we've we've known Kenny for a few years now, and um, <clears throat> we just kind of uh, we were h hanging with him one night, um, playing a uh, a club called the Doghouse in Nashville, and he happened to just stop in, and so after we were done playing, we were sitting around having beers, and one beer led to several beers. And uh, we all just started talking about doing a record together. And at, at the time, uh, I was trying to build a studio uh, in the basement of my house in Nashville. And so Marcus and I uh, ended up finishing that studio. And uh, Kenny and our uh, engineer, John Constable, who engineered the record, uh, he and Kenny and Marcus and I, we went out and got all the gear for the studio and the mics and put it all together, long story short, you know, and so uh, it kind of just went from a, a drinking beer kind of conversation to actually making making a record, you know, and so it uh, it was just, it couldn't have turned out uh, any better, I don't think, you know. Plus, He's I think a, he heard that, that difference in our sound because he just said, I think I can make you guys a real classic sounding record, you yeah. know, like the old school way, you know, and he, he did, man. He had a lot of great ideas and... that he added to this stuff. Yeah, <coughs> uh, and the fact that we're a three guitar band, having a guitar uh, a guitar player produce the record was was really neat in the, if, for the three of us. In that you know he helped immensely in, in sussing out parts. And when you there's a there's a real art to making the three guitar thing work. And Kenny Kenny got that immediately. Plus he's a great hang and one of the funniest people you'll ever meet in your life. You know. And of course, I was talking about how sometimes five ideas are better than one. I wanted a drummer to produce it. <laughs> they all looked at me like I had two heads. So I was like, okay, we'll go with Kenny. <laughs>